It is not the news. Neither the next world war, nor global recession, or not any pandemic we should be afraid of. In fact, the biggest threat to human existence would be global warming. Climate change is here. We've never seen um, a year's worth of rain in less than seven days. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. It's the greatest fraud that's been perpetrated on mankind this century. The Industrial Revolution took place in early 1950s and since then the carbon dioxide level in our atmosphere is increasing rapidly. Before the Industrial Revolution, the CO2 level in our atmosphere was 0.03% and now it has increased to 0.04%. The number seems to be small but it has drastic effects on the ecosystem. Scientists claim that human activities account for 95% of the causes of global warming. In order to power our homes, industries and vehicles, we have been burning fossil fuels like coal and oil, which emit a significant amount of CO2. People are cutting trees, which maintains the level of CO2 in our atmosphere. Another significant factor is population growth. In the past 70 years, the world's population has tripled and we are consuming more products from animals which release another pollutant called methane gas. So all those gases are released into the atmosphere and they make a layer of gases around the planet. When sunlight enters the atmosphere, the heat rays get trapped inside these layers of gases. And because of that, the planet gets warmer day by day. This phenomenon is known as greenhouse effect and the increase in the Earth's average temperature is known as global warming. The Earth today is 1.2 degrees Celsius warmer than, than it was in the pre-industrial time. Although it seems like such a small change in temperature, the effects of this change are much more severe than we could imagine. Levels rising, glaciers melting. Climate change is here. World, the effects of inaction are already clear. Cities um, magnify, intensify climate events. To humankind. Ice sheets and glaciers are melting quickly and sea levels are rising continuously. We are witnessing heavy rains, harsh droughts, flooding and short winters. People have become homeless. Agriculture is faltering, resulting in food scarcity. According to the UN, the Earth's temperature is rising faster than ever before. We are more likely to hit 1.5 degrees Celsius in the next seven years. UN also states that if this speed does not slow down, then a real apocalypse may emerge. Coastal cities and island nations would be submerged and entire regions would become inhabitable due to frequent heat waves and ecological disintegration. We should be worried that according to numerous reports, Pakistan is among the top 10 countries most likely to be affected by global warming. And Pakistan is already experiencing serious consequences from a just 1.2 degrees Celsius change in the Earth's temperature. Winters in northern Pakistan are becoming short Glaciers are melting, cities are being decimated by floods and heavy rains. Agricultural lands are being ruined by harsh droughts. There are serious smoke problems and millions of people in Pakistan are experiencing water and food shortages. We are already into the sixth mass extinction. We have only two generations left to restore the world to its initial temperature. If our generation and the next of us don't take any concrete action to combat global warming, then it would become inevitable to make the world habitable again. So this is the time to change the way we live.
So what actually we can do to stop or slow this rapid rise in temperature? First thing is to raise mass awareness that global warming is a real issue. And I know that majority of you are already aware of this. And there are some positive developments as well, such as huge renewable energy projects being undertaken by countries like India, Morocco, and Gambia. Moreover, 10 billion tree tsunami initiative in Pakistan are much acknowledged projects to combat global warming. But this is not enough. We must also take actions at local and individual levels. I greatly appreciate the recent move by GB government to ban plastics. I also believe that we should change the way we are living. These are just those everyday things that may make a big difference. Like, like try to lower your carbon footprint by using local products, planting more trees, using public transport, cycling more, and switching to renewable resources. And yeah, eating more vegetables rather than meat. I know it's a bit challenging, but it is down to all of us now that we should change the way we are living. Otherwise, global warming will force us to change the places or even the planet where we've been living which won't be easy at all.